Hey y'all and welcome back and thank you guys so much for watching. Today I'm going to be doing an eye look using the Nomad Berlin Underground palette. I just got this palette in my Ipsy box for this month and I'm pretty excited about the shade range here. It's kind of like a super grungy feel and I'm totally into this especially for the fall time. Um, and what I really really like about this palette is the fact that these colors are like true to the Berlin Wall. Um, you know, you guys read about it in history. Um, this pretty much just signifies Berlin, really. Um, the graffiti that they have on the Berlin Wall and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's true to this palette here. Um, and I'm really glad that they captured the colors into this palette. Um, since they did name it the Berlin Underground Palette, which you can see the graffiti on the actual packaging, which is super, super cute. And I'm totally into the vibe completely. So I'm really excited to dip in this and to play the swatches that I did just on my arm in my Ipsy uh, Glam Bag Plus video were phenomenal. And I can't wait to play with this palette and just see how well it performs. Um, yeah, so before we get into the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and click it right now. Thank you. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the video. So if I'm being honest, I really don't know what I want to do. Um, <laughs> this is probably going to go like really terribly. They don't have like a light, light shade in here other than this like mint green color. So I think they just got a, a goal or something on football because my boyfriend just screamed. <laughs> Is it a goal whenever you get a, t a touchdown, a touchdown? Um, but anyways, he's being very loud. Um, I guess I'm just going to dip in here and try and figure something out. I think I want to try using this shade right here first since it is kind of the lightest. Um, and maybe I'll use this shade next. It's green. So, um let's say what this color is going to look like. I'm just going to take um, a small little brush and dip into it first because I don't know how like pigmented this is going to be. So that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. And it's very pigmented too, so that's a really, really nice. I should get you guys a little bit closer, shouldn't I? Okay, I think that's better. Yes. Okay. That's cute. Okay. So I'm going to do the other side and I'll be back. Okay. So both of the eyes have this color on it now. Oh wait, that one. Um, I think now I'm going to, I think I'm going to take this green and kind of like shove it just under there. And I think I'm going to focus it just like on the outer corner of my eye. So this color doesn't seem to be making too much of a difference. Um, so I'm gonna add it to the other side and I'm gonna go in with a darker color. Well, I guess you can kind of see a difference in the two colors on my eyes. Um, but anyways, like I said, I'm gonna go in with a darker, uh, like I said, I'm gonna go in with a darker color. So I think I'm gonna try, uh, wow, this is hard. I think I'm going to try this other green shade right here and see how well that will darken up my outer corner. Oh yeah, that's going to darken it up. It 
If you guys don't like an overall shimmery eyeshadow palette, you probably won't like this because there's only a few mattes in here. So this is a matte, and this is a matte, uh, and I think this is a matte, but everything else, well, no, that's a matte. But the rest of them are all shimmery shades, uh, metallic shades or whatever. So if you guys don't like a super shiny look like this, you might not like this palette, but it's really cute, especially if you don't have like these grungier looking um, shimmery metallic shades. And this darker shade I'm using, I am getting a, a little bit of fallout. And if you're wondering why I keep dipping into the pan, it's because I'm only taking a little bit at a time to gradually build up this outer corner. Oh, see, I just touched myself up here and like ruined it all. Um, I'm not very good with eyeshadow, so I just kind of play around and try my best. Um, which it's okay if you're not good with eyeshadow, it's just makeup, but some people on here can be kind of mean. So hopefully you guys aren't mean to me in the comments in this video. Um, I'm gonna fix this right here. Because when I did my... Jeffree Star video, uh, I got some really mean comments about how terrible I was at putting eyeshadow on. So some of the really hurtful ones I deleted um, because I I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to eyeshadow. So this is just me uh, playing around and recording it and hoping for the best. So um, please don't be mean to me. I know I'm not good with uh, eyeshadow, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, hello, voiceover. I just wanted to pop in really quick because for some reason I didn't mention this in the video, but I just wanted you guys to know that the shades that I used today blended like a dream. What I really like about these uh, shades is that they really do blend in together really well, which is fantastic. Um, I don't know what I should do for like my, like this part of my lid. I don't know what would look good. Like, I want to do this gold because it's really pretty when I swatched it, but I like this one too. I kind of want to do the mint one, but I want to do this color for my lower lash line. I'm going to try putting this one here just because I want to see it, um, how well it looks. And if it doesn't look good, I can just put a darker color over it. Ooh, but I also kind of like this one. Okay, we'll do this one first. If it doesn't work out, we'll put the blue one on top. Oh, this is pretty. So I was just taking the shade and kind of putting it over the color that's already there. And it kind of like creates a whole new color right there. And I really, really like it. So now that I've done this, I kind of want to put this blue shade, um, like over here, <laughs> um, just to kind of like give it some dimension. I like that. You can still see that I'm getting like some fallout, but that's totally fine because I'm putting these shades on with just a regular brush. Um, because normally you would use your finger to put them on or a wet, like, flat brush. But I'm using this one, um, a Morphe M313, yeah, M3, no, M321, which is not used for that. But you know what? Who cares? <laughs> so I'm just going to blend these together a little bit. I don't know how to get this off without like ruining my makeup. <sighs> um, do I just lightly dust it away? I don't think I created like a darkness. 
right, cool. I actually really like what's going on with my eyes right now. It's kind of cool. But anyways, I'm going to take this shade right here and do my lower lash line. Wow. It kind of looks like funky when I put my eyes up here, but like when I'm looking at it like in person, it looks fine, but it looks kind of crazy in the camera. But I think that's because these are um, like my sh like shimmers, metallics, whatever they are. They're not matte, but you know, I didn't really want to do like a dark brown. I wanted to keep it kind of like green, so. This is the look. Oh. I really, really like it. So I am going to do my eyeliner and my mascara and I will be right back for the reveal. So here's the final look using the Nomad Berlin Underground Eyeshadow Palette. I think it's really pretty. Um, I can't wait to play with it even more. I probably won't be using these two shades often because I don't like a red or a dark purple on me, but I really, really want to use the black. So comment down below if you guys want to see me do like a round two, uh, maybe multiple look video. I kind of want to do that today, but um, <sighs> my eyes have been really itchy lately because of like fall allergies. So I don't really want to like continuously rub stuff off and then put it back on because it'll just irritate my eyes. So maybe the next week or so I can do a multiple eye look using this palette because if you think about it, there's like multiple things you can do with this thing. I mean, you can even have some of these colors by themselves on like the lower lid and it would look really cute, especially this shade right here, these two shades, that shade, these two shades, this shade, the, most of the shades. Um, but yeah, I don't know, something about this palette is just really inspiring. I think it's because it's so different than anything that I own. Plus these are all like shimmer shades, metallics, whatever you call them. I'm uneducated in the whole like makeup department, but um, yeah, this was designed on a location in Berlin, Germany. Ooh, fancy. Um, yeah, but yeah, this is an intense, oh, did I ever tell you this was an intense eyeshadow palette? Because this is an intense look and it looks so pretty. Um, I don't know, I just really like how the eye look came out. <laughs> Um, well, I don't really like the bronzer that much. I used that Park Avenue Princess uh, contour palette that I got on my uh, Buxy Lux. I don't. I think it's a little too dark for me, but it blended out really well when I messed up up here. So I mean, I'll still play with it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, back to the palette. This one's really, really pretty. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, if you guys like this eye look, let me know. And yeah, and if you guys want me to like use. What boyfriend would you want? <laughs> One second. Um, if you guys want me to use like another palette to have like crease colors or something instead of just like an all shimmer look because I know a lot of people don't like an all shimmer look. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want more and don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. What? Don't want me like that. <laughs>